Today we're gonna review the Coop incontinence pad and mattress protector system. Hey, this is Diana and Janet with Two Moms Review, where we review all things about a clean home, happy kids, and good sleep. If you're new to our channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little notification bell. We get down and dirty when it comes to cleaning. The first thing that we're gonna do is talk about what an incontinence pad is. So this is a pad, it's a waterproof layer. Reusable. Reusable, that goes um, over your sheet that uh, is removable and washable so that if there's any kind of accident um, on the bed, you can just take it off, throw it in the washer, and then you don't have to change all of your bedding. So when you put this on your mattress first, put then your, your sheet, then your fitted sheet, mm -hmm. then your then the incontinence, incontinence pad. pad. What do you need an incontinence pad for? It is not just for incontinence. Not for just elderly people. You can also use this for if you're having heavy periods, if you're um, having a lot of night sweats, if you're menopausal maybe. If you're pregnant and you're worried about your water breaking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you have the stomach flu and, or your kids have the stomach flu um, and you're worried about getting throw up on the bed. Where do you buy these? They're available on Amazon and we're gonna put a link in our video description as we always do. We appreciate it if you use our affiliate link if you decide to shop for those. Mm -hmm. This actually comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. So that you means you can pee on it for 30 days <laughs> and you can still return it. <laughs> That's amazing. And then it has something else that I can't believe. It has a 15 year warranty. That's pretty incredible. And if this thing works, I think it's, it's genius and I'd actually want to buy two or more of this one. This will be great. I'm going to be potty trained in another year. So I'm really happy to be able to Let's use this. Okay, so we're gonna put this mattress protector on and then we'll get to our tests. With this test, we don't wanna gross you out, but we're gonna use real pee. Yes, we had pee donors. <laughs> that's just for the first little while. We don't have enough pee to do 20 cups, but that's how much we plan to test this. I'm super lightweight and there's, this is how it works. It has these, it, it actually won't slip slip and slide. Maybe if you had satin sheets, it would be a problem, but it seems to stay in place. Um, it just has these sides, just like this, and they tuck underneath your mattress to hold it in place. So now it's not gonna move. Not, this is not gonna be going anywhere. So if I was using this for you know incontinence, heavy periods, um, maybe if somebody had the stomach flu and they had some diarrhea issues, anything like that, um, I would wanna put it down between my knees and my belly button so that it gets, you know, it's gonna be in the vicinity of where things might be coming out. <laughs> but if I was dealing with night sweats or um, the stomach flu where I was throwing up, I would want it, to, I would wanna move it up and have it be more by my neck and my head. It would sit more like this. And if you have a dog or cat that sleeps with you, a pet, you put it at the bottom. You put it at the very bottom where they are. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get down to the test. It's a lot of pee. So this is how much, on average, one person pees at a time. It's two cups. And it looks like it's soaking in. Okay. It's starting to absorb and spread. So what if somebody has more than one accident in the middle of the night? So this is um, another two cups. So this is simulating P accident number two. Okay, so I'm gonna lift it up and see if it has um, absorbed into the next layer. There's nothing liquid at all. Let's look at the underside of this. There's where the P is. And it's not, there's nothing at all wet. It says it's guaranteed for 300 washes. So what I really, what I wonder is, is it really? This incontinence pad has been washed five times in a row and now we're gonna see how much liquid it can hold. So this time it's not pee. We decided to save our noses, actually just apple juice. So this is two cups. So look, it's almost all soaked in. And here's two more cups. Okay, we're gonna do a quick check. Anything? Any wetness at all. Just for fun, let's add some more water to this and see how much this baby can hold. That makes 10 cups. <laughs> I don't know how much pets pee. That's 12 cups. Okay. 
So we have 20 cups of water and apple juice on this. Um, nobody should be peeing that much at night. If you are, I highly recommend you go see your doctor. So a tiny little bit has leaked over at that edge. I guess that's what happens if uh, you do pee that much. Of course, underneath that is the mattress protector. And really quick, I'm just gonna make sure. Okay, there's absolutely no water no dampness. So, I mean, I would say as a whole, this unit definitely is done doing what it's supposed to do. So if, you know, you do pee 20 cups of pee at night and it does overflow. Or maybe it's you are peeing, your spouse is peeing, and your dog is peeing. All of you pee. All night. 20 cups. And it does spill over off the incontinence pad. You are still double protected because you have the mattress protector. So, hey, I think that's, I think that's great. I yeah. think it works well. Yeah. So thank you for watching. If you have any comments or questions for us, please leave them in the comments. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you liked this video and if you want to watch more videos like this.